Can you imagine having a really good day only to hear some information that would change your life completely forever? Did you ever get some news that you didn't want to hear? I did 27 years ago. I had the perfect life. I had the perfect husband, two perfect children. We had a beautiful dog. I had a job I loved. I was a health and physical educator in a middle school right here in Las Vegas. And my husband, he was a PE teacher and coach. I lived the dream life. But you know, one day I started having tingling in my abdomen. I knew that wasn't right. Now remember, I told you I was a health instructor. So I knew that I probably should go and see a doctor. But I gave my students a report to do. And when they did that report, I listened to what they said on diseases, and I knew what I was going to say when I went to go see the doctor. And when he said to me, Karen, why are you here today? I said, doctor, I think I have multiple sclerosis. And he just looked at me and laughed and said, and how did you come up with that? I said, I had eighth grade students that did research. So he asked me to walk, oh, this will be dangerous, to walk toe to toe. And then he had me do some coordination drills and check for numbness in my hands. And he looked at me and he said, how did you get here? I drove. He said, you need to drive yourself across the street now and check into the hospital. I'll be there by 6. I'll order all the tests, stat. That scared me, stat. By noon the next day, a doctor came in and he introduced himself to me as my neurologist. I didn't know what that was. And he said, I've been speaking to your doctor. I've read your reports. Can you sit up on the edge of your bed? So I did. And he said, now close your eyes. And I shut my eyes and he asked me some questions and he said, can you feel this? How about that? What about now? Well, my answers were the same. No, no, no. And then when I opened my eyes, I looked at my arms and I noticed that I had pinpoints, bloody pinpoints on my arms, on my hands, on my legs, on my feet. Ah, that kind of scared me. So then he said, he could tell that I was nervous, and he said, don't worry. You know what? We've got a plan. Well, if you've been in a situation like that, plan is a good word, because plan means that they know what they're doing. So I said, oh, and our plan? We're going to go downstairs right now, and we're going to do a spinal tap. Uh -huh. plan, so you do spinal taps for diabetes? He said, no. We do it because we think you have either a brain tumor, a tumor on your spine, or MS. I was 26. I didn't know what to ask. You're supposed to ask something intelligent. So I thought back and I said, I'm an educated woman. I have watched soap operas. I have heard these things before. I've heard this said. So I reverted to days of our lives. And I knew they said a question, so I said, doctor, if it's a tumor, is it operable? And he said, uh, it depends on where it's located. Anyway, there's a study that was done by Chronic Health in America that says in the year 2020, 157 million Americans will have one or more health concerns. Heart disease, diabetes, obesity, cancer, you know what I mean. But I ask you this, how many of you today think that it is possible that the American dream of, of conquering adversity in your life is alive and well? Absolutely. How many of you absolutely want to live a stronger, healthier life? That's exactly why I made the contribution to Life Choices because I know there are people just like me out there dealing with adversity daily. And Seven Keys to Success gives you little things that you can do each and every day to live a fuller life. Now I ask you, or I tell you, 27 years ago, I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. Today, I'm in the secondary progressive stage. Just as if I've had to make changes in my life, 
I know that you have to make changes too. Change, guys, it happens every day. It happens all the time. So what's important is how you make change and that you have a positive attitude. Please remember the words of Dr. Wayne Dyer. If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Will you repeat with me? If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. One last time because I love that with gusto. Are you ready? If you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change.